This is the place where I wanted to meet up. Hmm. I've never really been to this area before, but... Hmm. Huh? Yeah, there she is. Hey. Hey. You alright? Better than before. Better than earlier. Again, sorry about that. Yeah, that's good. No worries. You know, I can't help but worry for my brothers. Especially you. <laughs> but, though... I haven't really gotten the full story, though. What... Do you remember what happened before, well... The heart attack happened? Yeah, I do, actually. So... Apparently, what happened? It was uh, I was just relaxing at home, trying to watch some, trying to pretty much watch the television because it's been a while. Figure I'd take a relaxing day, but I noticed the TV wasn't working. And then basically, I called the TV repair man to come by and get it checked out, and pretty much came at the worst timing because they said it was fine. But I'll get to the reason why I called. Where I thought it was broken. There was a white face on the TV. Which kind of creeped me out. And. And. Apparently. What I saw. When he revealed himself. Uh. Kind of. Uh, imagine. Troll face and Majin Sai together. But they're not. Not related. Is a virus. He's called NMI, <laughs> a.k.a. No More Innocence. Okay, No More Innocence. He's technically, <laughs> technically Paul. He's a white EXE Sonic thing, whatever. Mm. And, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, virus... EXC. You no, know, it's not good news whenever another one of those things decide to show up. Hmm. But I find it weird that it went after you. What are the odds? Now, like, now, like, I already got a target on my back to begin with. Hmm. Still, this is really odd. Corruption was mentioned, which I don't really care about. You're still, mm -hmm. you're, you're in, well, no pun intended, you're in one piece. And... True. <laughs> he knew about our disagreement. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been resolved already. But I still have... Hasn't it? But, but I still have doubts within me. Not with you, but... Some of the others. Hmm. Alex and I are good because I literally had to save him. Hmm. Well... I think you may need to have a talk with Children Draco, then. Especially, well, Chill did attack you and Alex and Draco. The only, pretty the, much... only the only person that owes an apology is to me is Chill. Only me and Alex won. Oh, still, still, it doesn't matter who does the apologizing, as long as this gets resolved. Because an apology without a resolution is pretty much an empty apology. For now, the apology could shove it, because right now I'm not really... That's not my priority right now. Mm. My priority is just getting this thing out of my head. Understandable. So, still... I, don't, I, I don't really care about Chill and Draco right now. They could do whatever the fuck they want. No offense. Then I, I get it, but 
I want to do it on my time. I'm not doing it on theirs. Hmm. Understandable. <sighs> though. Still, though. If you really gotta find a way to get that thing out of your head, then that's what you gotta actually focus on. Actually, I, I did give him a suggestion from a name that you're gonna be shocked hearing because that was pretty much what the disagreement was. Razio came see me. Oh, glad at least he's able to get a, get out of that house of his for a little while. At least what, whatever I mean, situation's I, going on, whatever situation's going on, once it's fixed, I'm paying a visit to Azriel. He's gonna help me with my mental training. Understandable, but at least, but at least, hopefully, once the situation that we're dealing with back at the home world is dealt and over with then feel free to then feel free to go go over to the old man and get the training that you need because hmm. once this is all done my priorities are going to get shifted how so well pretty much obviously with all the with all with all of the ruins that we've been looking up Best at least I take a. Best at least I take him to heart. Got to get a hold of call on it and figure out what it means. Here are the locations. And especially since. Here are the locations I went to. Mm -hmm. Just take some time to look over it, find some answers, then reach out to the call. Mm hmm. And then. But I don't know why. I just, I just got feeling like something may happen, and I'm praying that it has nothing to do with what family I have left. Just don't let it get to you. I'll try not to. I mean, technically speaking, back at the home world, I've already lost an aunt. My godfather was bewitched, and I already considered him dead a thousand years ago, because I knew that wasn't him. Mm. And, then, and then pretty much everybody just trying to pull me away from everyone else. If it's not fate then I don't know what the hell to call it. Do what you do what you need to do. I trust that you'll do the right thing. Besides, whether they say it or not, I try. I should have told you this sooner. I already knew that. I already trust. I already trusted you on your own to begin with. Mm. But I don't. I don't really care how. Chilled Alex or Draco see it. This is coming from me. You don't need to hear it from them. If they if they if mm. they say something different from what I said, they're just making it worse on them. Yeah. I just want I now I know that Obviously, I already heard it from Alex, and heard it from you. And you guys have full trust in me. If Draco I def kept if, saying if that I he... If I haven't, I wouldn't be talking to you at all. I know. Draco, Draco, I know he says he trusts me. Because at least, thankfully, he doesn't... He doesn't interfere unless... I absolutely need backup. It doesn't help that he... Now it can get into my head. <laughs> well, every once in a while, he needs to learn how to stand down. He has, but I keep telling him that 
The only thing he needs to worry about is to make sure that Barry doesn't go into an early labor. Hmm. Right. Still, I so, I still kind of see Draco more overprotective than me and Alex. So that'll just become his enemy. Yeah, well, either way, doesn't matter if anyone's going to be overprotective, not as protective. I think it's more more along the lines of I got to make sure to put my foot down and tell people to let me be who I am. You have every right to be who you're destined to be. Mm. I told you this already. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, it was that flash again. <sighs> Easy. I'm okay. Easy. It's alright. I'm okay. It's just a little flash. I'm alright. Okay. And I know. I just want to make sure it wasn't well that NMI it, guy popping up. It was. Just in your head, or was he somewhere around here? Do you feel his energy here? Because if not, I can only see him. I knew I know how this goes. Seen him at the hospital myself when I was there. Cookie didn't see him. He's one of those things where, when an illusion happens for him or hallucination per se, that victim is the only person to see it. Well, there's nothing. There's no energies. Still, I'm the only one to see him. You can't. Nor even sense him. Don't forget. Then that's all he is. This is my vision here. Then that's all... Right, then that means that the... Then that's all he is then. It's just a hallucination. Be honest, if it really was him, then so we would both be alerted. He knows how to make it feel real, trust me. Mm. <sighs> and he even manipulated this, which Cookie fixed. <laughs> because he knew, like, well, I believe he knew Berserk was a threat. Well. I'm always glad that at least Cookie was able to get that fixed up. But yeah, yeah, but I can't use it just... back in his realm. If I could at least find a way mm. back in, if he decides to get me, I'll be prepared this time. Well, well, pretty much like you had stated earlier. Focus on mental training, so that way at least you're more prepared for it. Because it seems more like he didn't go for any of the physical aspects, just the men just the mental aspects. That's all. And he is. if your mentality, is... he doesn't go physical. And right, but again, still best to prepare. Because otherwise, more of that mental torture there can end up killing you in the physical world. It's just like when. I had to go through that supposed training with Chris. That, yeah. I told Raziel, get Chris out of my way when it comes to this. Yeah. I'll make sure to tell him no when he says, okay, I'm going to go find Dragon and help him out. I'll be like, no, don't. N nah. Because... I'll, nah. I'll tell him myself. I'll tell him myself. I don't want anyone talking for me. <laughs> Well, someone has to tell him to stand down, because otherwise, the more that he keeps pushing pushing himself to try and train with others, or trying to prove that he's that he could be better, he could end up getting himself killed. Especially, he may have been, been trained by Dark, but it doesn't mean that he's better. 
Yeah. Why do you think I'm not even begging for a training session with him? Mm. I'll accept it when Dark offers it. Mm. And I'll tell him to not send out Uganda Knuckles as a training partner for you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I can handle him. I can handle him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... You sent me the tape. I know. <laughs> I don't know why. It was still funny. Still pissed that Dark blamed me for it, but it was still funny. <laughs> you had to blame somebody. <laughs> Team Guardian Prime for a reason. There's always that, there's always that, uh, one significant person. And when it comes to a member of three. Yeah, well, technically speaking, if, if something's going on with the Chaos Emeralds, we blame Chris. If something's going on with the planet, we blame me. If something's going on with the whole damn multiverse, we blame Dark. Hmm. <sighs> Which is not really my concern. My concern is just getting this thing out of my, out of my head, getting back to what I'm usually doing. One, yeah. figuring out what the hell is going on with the uh, the ruins on what they're talking about. And secondly, getting these getting whatever's going on resolved. Well, for the ruins, best you sit this one out until you can be able to get that thing out of here. Oh, I, yeah, I know. I know. Why do you think... <sighs> you know what? Never mind. But I'm being serious, though. I know. I'll deal with the ruins, and then any any other updates, once I know that, hey, you feel like you're in the clear and you're mentally ready to continue on, just let me know, and I'll let you know on any findings. I don't want to, I don't want it to be this long anyway because all I want to do is just some mental training that are, that are not around with NMI. But I need to find two people that can help me. However, I do know two people. Did you know I have another team? Not until now. What do we got? Not asking Team Soul and Team Reliable because no offense, still not talking to Chilled. But there's another one mm -hmm. that me and my girlfriend are in. Oh. I basically, have another brother. Me, her, and him make Team Reliable. I can meet up with them. All right. And uh, who is this third member? Uh, do I know him or no? His he he goes by the name of uh, Blader. Sounds cool. <laughs> oh yeah, me and him hanged out a lot. <laughs> but I need to. Oh. I think I have their contact. I need to contact them in a bit, and uh, get this whole thing resolved. Because if there's one thing that NMI mm -hmm. doesn't know, I can always have backup if needed. I'll need backup on this one. So, it's best if you sit out this mm -hmm. one. I understand. Plus, I still gotta... I still gotta head back to the other world, too. That way, the situation's resolved. I'll probably be better by the time you get back. That we can, get to, can mm. continue. Yeah. Because right now, I think that the main focus is just to stop a supposed king of heaven that turned out to be a megalomaniac. Gabriel? Yeah. Yeah, you, you already told me. Mm-hmm. And if I run into him, at least I'm more prepared when I see him again. Mainly mentally. At least you can, at least you can give Chris props for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, 
It's something that I've done after all that happened. I didn't even tell Chris. Jacob may have sensed it out, but I didn't say anything. But I didn't tell anyone after that day. This is about. I think I finally found. Fa is it? No, no. I'm talking about him. Hmm? Barchel. I think I finally properly graved. Wait, what? Initially, I initially all I remembered of him at the time, he was just he used to be the king of heaven before Gabriel. And then he suddenly went crazy and started lusting after my mother and tried to get me eliminated. But found out there was a lot more after I finally got more of my memories unlocked. Hmm. It was supposed to be family. But that family broke. Did it? Because Gabriel poisoned his mind. If I want to be honest with something. Shouldn't you just save Barchil and just go after Gabriel? Why go after both? I know he killed your comrades, but... Don't you think you should just save him? Well... I tried... At first, I thought the best way to do so is just to... Get rid of Gabriel first, since he's technically the poison. Because mm. in a way, if you're going to be carrying a poison, you have to stop. you have to stop it. In order to get have someone to get better, you have to stop where the poison's That's coming. Technically, from. what I'm, yeah. But however, the thing is, Gabriel is extremely powerful. I can tell. Much more powerful, much more powerful than me, Raziel, even Azriel. But if there's no way to save him. Then all I could say say is safe to say that his death happened before I was separated. Hmm. I could tell so still so hence why I it? Yeah. But I got a chance to actually properly grieve. Hmm. And I guess in Polo there was still maybe just a little bit of him still left, because the more I think about it, if he really wanted me actually dead, he would have killed me when the separation happened rather than have me separated. Something must be preventing it. Mm. But, <sighs> Again, but... if there's no way to save, if there's no way to save him, at least I know I'm ready to at least fight back if needed. As you should. Sorry. No, no. I don't no. know what came over me there. No, just just do it. Don't fight it. Sorry. No, don't apologize. Does that mean nothing more like that? Don't apologize. (laughs) 
Nothing's wrong with letting it out every once in a while. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. <laughs> want to fight back? That's why I can be able to let it out. Hmm? Fight proud. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> but again, I'll be alright. It's maybe a first time experience for me. But I pull through anything. But this, this has got to be one of the, but with me, this is going to be one of the toughest things I'll pull through. I'm sure you'll be able to. Because, as long, pretty much, just like what we discussed, just work, just work on strengthening yourself mentally, you'll be able to fight back. All I need is the mind. My body's fine. I'm just weak mm. in the mind. My wake up call is now. My wake up call is there. Mm. It's time I finally show who Dragon the Hedgehog really is. That's my little bro. <laughs> Whatever Azrael has, I'll be where I'll be prepared. Sure, hmm. I might mess up first, but we're out of training. I'll let her pull through. Hmm. Yeah, and as long as both of you behave yourselves, I'm sure you two will get along. <laughs> I moved on from it anyway, so he won't have a problem with me. Well, just as long as he doesn't all of a sudden bring me up and say, Oh, oh, I can't believe you have to go through such a burden. And be like, it's not a burden, it's a responsibility, damn it. <laughs> I got it, don't worry. But I don't want you to come with me. Yeah. Again, this is something I need to do on my own. I got it. But again, just as long as just as long as you two at least come to a common ground and you two are able to handle each other. I'll set the common ground first. Alright. So where do you gotta go again? Uh, let's see. Uh, honestly. I think I'll probably just use my heart to try to figure out where I need to go next, at least until at least until the call happens. Alright. As for me, I got two people to look for before I head before I head over All right. there. Alright. Have a good time. Hmm.